Hi, I'm Steve Sobeck, owner of amysflashcards.com, and the purpose of this video is to show you a really neat math trick that will enable you to subtract larger numbers in your head without pencil and paper. For example, here's uh, some larger numbers. We want to be able to subtract these without pencil or paper from left to right. The trick is to subtract from left to right. With paper and pencil, you subtract it from right to left. So this might seem strange to you. We're doing it the opposite direction. But we read the answer from left to right. So doesn't it make sense that when you're working mentally, that we need to think from left to right the same way we read the answer. And uh, here's how it works. We first look at the 9 and the subtract the 3. Now I'm assuming, of course, that you already know your addition tables. You've practiced your uh, addition flashcards at amysflashcards.com. You know instantly that 6 plus 3 is 9, and consequently you know that 9 subtract 3 is 6. Those things come to you instantly. And when you've attained that level of uh, mastery, then you're ready to attack subtracting larger numbers in your head. So as soon as we see the 9 subtract 3, we think 6, but we don't say it yet. And I'm not going to write it yet. We have to glance at the next column to see whether we need the borrow. If we need the borrow, if uh, then that that 6,000 is going to have to drop to a 5,000. It's either going to be 6,000 or drop by one. It never changes by more than one. Well, we glance over here and we see that we don't need any borrowing in the hundreds column. If that 8 were a 3 or a 2, you know, or something less than 4, then we would have dropped our 6,000 to a 5,000. It wasn't necessary. So we're ready to go right ahead and write 6,000 here. Then we proceed. Now we look at the hundreds column and we write down 400. So we got 6,430. Now you might object, you don't mean 30, you mean 40, don't you? Because 6, six subtract 2 is 4. Well, 6 subtract 2 is 4, and I, I, I was thinking 40. Uh, originally, but don't forget the glance. If you glance at the next column and you can see that the 2 is smaller than the 5, then you have to drop your 40 down to a 30, which I did. Okay, and then, 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 then finally we got the 12 subtract 5 giving us 7, 6,437. All right, now again, that's maybe that's the first time you've ever seen subtraction from left to right and it's not going to seem easy you might say that's not just not the way i've done it all my life i'm you know it's it's not as easy as the way i do it but if you give it a try if you practice over time you will agree with me that i'm correct that when you don't have a pencil and paper you're better off thinking from left to right all right, we're going to show. An, I'm going to show another example in just a moment, and as soon as I uh, show you the problem, I'm going to suggest to you that you pause the video, give it a try, and then restart the video and listen to my commentary. Okay, now that you've restarted the video, let's see how you did. Did you start by looking at the seven subtract five? And you were thinking 2,000, but you didn't say 2,000. I hope you didn't, because a quick glance to the hundreds column shows that uh, borrowing was necessary. The 2 is less than the 8. So instead of saying 2,000, you should have said 1,400. And again, no more borrowing is needed anywhere else. And, and so uh, in 17. 1,417, and um, that's that's it. That's the math trick. It it becomes easier and easier the more frequently you you practice it. Um, let me suggest to you that uh, you use flashcards to, to practice these drills. 
I'm going to uh, suggest a website. Uh, I am the webmaster of amysflashcards.com, and I've got online flashcard drills there with all different levels of difficulty, from very easy to, to more advanced. And um, when you uh, practice there, you could control how fast, how slow you go, and and you could get your answer instantly with a click of the mouse. And um, and you also it'll also keep track of statistics. It'll keep track of of the rate in which you're working, how many problems per minute. And if you keep at this just a little bit, you know, just three to five minutes a day, you'll find yourself uh, improving from uh, from week to week, from day to day even. And, uh, and you'll be glad that you did. I hope that this uh, video was helpful to you, and I hope that you visit amysflashcards.com for some, some more math, mental math tricks. Thank you.